Hey guys, SheBear1000 here. Today I'm going to do a little vlogging. Okay guys, so this vlog, I guess, I'm just trying out this camera that I had all apart. Um, I think I've got a picture of it. Yeah, I do. And I'll put it in right now. And what happened was the the USB port in the back, it looks something like, I don't know if you can see. It's the little one. It uh, looks something like that. I don't know if you can see that. But it's where you plug your USB cable into. Now... What happened was, you know, it's been loose since, we, I mean, since right after we got it started getting loose. Finally, it just broke off. So I took the camera all apart, tried to, uh, I got a new soldering gun with a real fine tip and some solder. You can't get in there, guys. You can't, you can't solder that little tiny, tiny end on there. I mean, it's, do I have one here? No, I don't. Um, yeah, I do. It's where this one plugs in at but anyway the problem was that um, you know I kept getting loose and you had to wiggle it to get it to charge and uh, I'd mentioned mentioned a couple times in one of my other one or two of my other videos and uh, so finally you know I said to heck with it so what I did was I took a, an end like this here I had an old USB cord laying around which you know pretty much everybody does and I cut it and I run it up through the back where the old USB port used to stick out and uh, run it up through and I just soldered I didn't solder the media wires it's just they're too small in there to find out where they go I don't have a magnifying glass all I got you know is my glasses and so my main concern I'm not worried about the media because it's got a memory card in it so, I figured I'd transfer my media that way. I just needed to, needed it to charge. So, I ran that wire up in there, the, the uh, USB cable, and I soldered it to the two top posts, the positive and negative posts of where the battery, the posts, the prongs that come down through, up on top. I soldered them to that and it's charging. Everything works except for the screen broke too at that time. Now it still opens and closes, but I can't flip it around. So I don't know if I'm in frame or not. Um, and the mic, the mic never did work. We've always had to use an external mic. And the mic that I had wasn't any good either. So I couldn't. I couldn't put a mic in it while I had it apart. That could be later on if I find a junk camera or something. I don't know. But it's fine to use with an external mic. But everything works. And I'll show you right now what I had to do to this thing. Okay, guys. This is what I had to do to this thing. I ran this. That's where the old uh, USB was for to plug in your USB cable look like that and I plugged in there well since that piece was broke off I left it out and I sorry and I shoved this up in there and I just put a little glue around there to keep it from pulling out and it's also got a knot on the other end uh, and then I ran it up in up in the top of here see the battery goes underneath so up in the top of here there's two prongs and they're actually one on each side of that and so I soldered the wires up in there to get my um, so I could be able to charge it see I'm charging it right now it's already at a full charge it always did charge pretty quick everything works uh, the light still works on it Everything works except for transferring media files and oops and the um, let me shut that light off and the uh, the screen you know it it'll open and close 
but it will not swivel anymore. You can't flip it around. So, and we've always had to use an external mic with this, so that's that's really not a not a big issue. This cord is kind of long, but I'll be able to, you know, tie that up, and make it look nice. But right now, I'm just uh, I'm just checking it out, and let's see. I and um, making sure it's going to work. So at least, uh, at least we got it working. Um, that door was already open, by the way. So at least I got it working. I didn't film it. That just kind of when you get inside there and you're dealing with plastic and you're dealing with little tiny screws that you can't hardly see. You know, I just thought it'd be best just to go ahead and try to fix it and. But, uh, because it's not something that I can do a how-to on, because that's really technical. That's, you know, if you don't know how to solder and all that, it's just, it's a pain. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't advise somebody to go ahead and try that unless they've had them apart before, which I have. But, so, there you go. There's my short little vlog on checking the camera out. So, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. And I uh, hope you all have a good weekend. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.